close your eyes. Imagine you are standing in the vast emptiness, surrounded by gigantic mountains. Now open your eyes. This is what makes the Centenary Hut so unique. Some would consider a construction project in these regions as madness. But someone had to do it. There is an old, weather-torn hut, broken roof, no windows and no doors. It can be found on a footpath going to South Africa's highest peak, Mafadi. We set out to fix this structure. We would be separated from civilization. Weather conditions are extreme, temperatures drop quickly below freezing, no electricity, no water, no people, and winds strong enough to blow away your tents. With no direct supplies of essentials such as food, success of the project requires precise planning and endurance on part of the volunteers. A slight miscalculation could ruin the entire project. It took a lot of organizing with the Mountain Club of South Africa and Giants Castle personnel, specifically Gaffney and Twitter, who assisted us with transport to the location. Three students from Tux Exploratio and three people from the Mosaic Arts have volunteered to assist us with the project. I can't think that it's a mission was. Hello, my name is Richard Schnitzer. I'm a computer engineering student at the University of Tux. My name is Nathan Pickford. I'm a second year industrial engineer. I came to this project through our JCP module. My name is Liam Knowles and I'm studying mechanical engineering at Tux. So the project was to repair a hut, make sure that it provides shelter to the hikers. Oh, that was Mark. Woo! On a toilet seat. 50 bucks. I like good luck. Oh! Okay, yes, what's he planning is off? Thank you, Mr. Mark. I am ready! My name is Walter de Wett. I'm studying mechanical engineering now. My name is uh, Joshua Schreiber. I'm a second year chemical engineering student. Main challenge it would probably be the work you've tried to put in. It's 10 hours minimum that we've been trying to get in a day. So on site, I did a lot of angle grinding because I love that kind of stuff. Whenever we needed someone to angle grind, I'd always be there with my little angle grinder. On site, I've mostly been helping with uh, transporting some of the the stuff. With this experience, the one thing I've learned is that teamwork really does make a difference. So uh, in the beginning, things were going quite slow with our project because we haven't really found our groove yet. Because winter is the dry season, we could come up here, but then you have the issue of it being extremely cold. I mean, at night, it's below zero. Some of the added challenges is having really long work days and you don't have any time for yourself, really, because you don't have a warm bed to go and sleep. I enjoy it, really, because it's like a hike, but I know some of the other people, they're a bit out of their element because you're cold, you don't eat nice food, you've got your two-minute noodles and whatnot. I know it's bad, but it's, that's, it's what we've got. There's no real showers here, so we've gone four or five days without cleaning ourselves, so that's what it is. Uh, to overcome the challenges, we've pretty much been relying on doing each challenge in groups and relying on teamwork. It works a lot better when we have uh, multiple people working on something that requires a lot of hands, pretty much. I've learned teamwork is really vital. I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't have made it through this far without making 
friends with my team? Well, the message I'd give would probably be relating to getting to know people more seriously and build like relationships that can follow you through through your degree, through into growing up life. Give back. So with this project, I mean, we're not getting paid to do it or anything. It's uh, basically a charity thing. Everyone just chipping in to, to make this happen. And even though it's not for myself, I've really gotten a passion for this little art. And um, I must say, it feels really nice to uh, do something that isn't for yourself. So my message is to get out there, do something like yeah, getting out in nature. It's really nice to just find yourself again and get to know who you are on the inside and maybe do a bit of introspection. This is a lot of work and I don't think anyone else would have done it if we didn't do it. So take care of it because I don't think it's going to be repaired again soon.